Madame Macron, vous me permettez de vous adresser uh, en anglais. Uh, it is a real pleasure, ladies and gentlemen, to be able to be with you today uh, at the Louvre to inaugurate what is indeed a very particular, dare I say, very sophisticated um, exhibition uh, to celebrate the 200 years since uh, the beginning uh, of uh, our war of independence. Uh, it is indeed uh, true that when uh, Greeks uh, rose uh, against uh, um, uh, the Ottoman uh, uh, Empire, their chances to secure uh, their freedom were limited. They were fighting against uh, all odds, and if it were not uh, for the assistance of uh, foreign powers, France included, uh, the creation of the first nation state uh, in the southeastern tip of Europe would not have been a reality. Uh, and part of uh, this exhibition uh, is also a thank you to all those um, who contributed to the cause of Greek independence. Uh, and of course, uh, France uh, was always there from the very beginning. I think we are all moved uh, by the fact that during the revolution, uh, works uh, of art were commissioned and sold on auctions uh, to finance uh, the war of independence. Uh, and uh, uh, it is indeed uh, fitting, I think, that uh, probably the most emblematic uh, painting uh, which mobilized public opinion in support uh, of the Greek uh, cause, the massacre of Hirsch, has been uh, brilliantly restored to its original colors, and you have the possibility to actually see it uh, in the Museum of the Louvre. Indeed, these 200 years exhibit the complicated history of the creation of the Greek nation state. And this constant struggle between uh, uh, people uh, who viewed themselves uh, as uh, uh, guardians uh, of one of the world's most important ancient cultures, uh, which uh, struggled um, to maintain within uh, the creation of their newborn uh, country, uh, the spirit of Orthodox Christianity, which kept Hellenism and, and the Greek spirit alive during the difficult years of the Ottoman occupation, and reconcile those historical trends with a desire to create a truly modern European nation state. And I think it is exactly this uh, complexity uh, of this uh, trip this 200 year trip which is so uh, brilliantly presented uh, in this magnificent exhibition and I would like to thank again all the contributors, all the museums um, from France and from Greece uh, who contributed uh, works of art uh, in order to present this fascinating, uh, this uh, very very uh, unique uh, uh, story. Uh, and I think it is fitting uh, Mr. President uh, to take a step back and think that when France uh, celebrated uh, its uh, bicentennial, uh, it did so at a time of profound seismic historical changes uh, back in, uh, uh, in uh, 1989 uh, when the Berlin Wall was coming down. When we thought that the end of history um, had, uh, had, had arrived when uh, essentially Eastern Europe was liberated. But I dare to say that we are also uh, celebrating our 200 years of independence at another absolutely critical uh, period when new challenges, the most important one being climate change, uh, emerge uh, and when, again, collective uh, reaction uh, is uh, so absolutely uh, necessary. Uh, and maybe the next chapter uh, in the Greek history, the next chapter uh, in the French history, uh, would be um, uh, very much dependent on our ability to superimpose upon our national uh, identities which were created through um, uh, uh, difficult struggles an additional layer of identity and that is the European identity for which both myself and, and uh, uh, the French president are constantly uh, fighting. So uh, I um, would like to thank you again for putting together 
this uh, uh, exhibition. Uh, this has been a difficult year um, um, for us. We have not been able to celebrate our bicentennial exactly as we had desired uh, due to COVID. But as the year uh, is coming to an end, I'm very happy that uh, the visitors to the Louvre will have the ability to uh, appreciate uh, through this uh, exhibition um, uh, the strong ties between France uh, and Greece and the contribution uh, that France uh, played uh, in the creation of the Greek uh, modern nation state. Thank you very much.